Hello, hello, how are you? Sawona Onjani Dumel Ugai Molweni Niapila Nivugile. Okay, lovely. I hope everyone is looking after themselves. You are staying indoors. You are wearing your protective materials. Uh, like facial mask and this video is about making a fabric facial mask it is not meant to replace the hospital one a disclaimer i repeat this fabric mask that i'm going to make today is for home use only it's for when you have a loved one that is sneezing that is coughing and you're not sure what you're dealing with to minimize the spread, uh, you can make one, use it. It is washable and it is breathable. Uh, the recommendations are that we make this fabric uh, mask out of cotton because it is breathable, but it's not meant to replace the hospital one. If you can, find the ones that, that are clean, clinical mask you can buy those and use those and it is also said it is better to use a mask than not to use one hospitals have uh, announced that uh, they were running a uh, low or they have run out of a uh, mask and they made an appeal to people to make this mask and a lot of people have gone out to make them. There is a template that has been circulated following that template and making one. Um, it has, that template has pouches where the hospital can uh, put their protective material underneath and dispose it of. But this one, as I've said, is for home use only and uh, there's this friend who once said uh, just take a friend don't say a thing just take a friend and just just so sanitize 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 wash your hands wash your hands wash your hands stay at home stay at home stay at home Go out when it's absolutely necessary to buy things like food. But other than that, stay at home. Follow the recommendations of uh, governments all over the, the world and let us work together. Let us be responsible uh, to minimize the spread. And uh, as we say it all the time, uh, it, together we can combat this. Uh, this dilemma this corona yeah yeah let us look after each other and make some facial mask home use facial mask let's get into it i've already cut my fabrics you're going to use uh, you're going to need one for the top part and the other one for the lining. You're going to need a tape and you're going to need a, I don't know what, what this is called, but it's meant to go on top of the nose of the bridge to kind of keep your mask in place on your nose. Of, Going around my ear just to estimate the size and I've cut two strips I think because uh, I'm planning to make two masks and I'm going to need two more and you can use your scissors to cut your fabric but uh, in this project I've used my ruler I've used my ruler and self-healing mat and my rotary cutter and pins to pin your fabric together sewing thread you can hand sew the fabrics together or you can use your sewing machine yeah that's all that you're going to need 
and let's get into this project. To start with the first mask, fold together the edges as demonstrated and pin them down. Do this on both uh, of the fabrics and overlap them on each other just to demonstrate how they are meant to overlap and bring to your sewing machine and sew the edges. Now what you need to do is to work on your pleats, fold together the pleats on both fabrics. Don't forget to attach your elastic inside on both sides as demonstrated. And on this one, And once you've attached everything, turn your, fab, uh, your mask upside down to see if everything is attached securely. And this is the time when you can correct any mistake, if there's any. I've made four pleats on each fabric, but on the lining fabric, it's only two. And now we're going to put our pipe cleaner. This is the pouch where you're going to put the protective material. And now begin by folding the other remaining two edges together. But remember, we have a pipe cleaner that we're going to use on the bridge of the nose to keep our mask in securely in place. You can pin down the edges. I find that this made it easier for me to to work when I started by folding the edges inside and slightly pinning to the together just to hold the fabric in place. Do whatever is comfortable for you, but the end result is that we need a piping, a pipe cleaner. <laughs> Nearly said a piping cord. We need a pipe cleaner inserted in there. I've already measured and cut the piping pipe cleaner <laughs> to fit my mask and for this mask you will need to use your own measurements especially when you're making for kids and adults I have a small face so <laughs> the one that I'm making now I, I'm using it, um, using my own measurements. So now you, this is how you attach your pipe cleaner. Remember, this is my first time doing this, guys. I'm just both sitting at home and thinking, why not join in this challenge as everyone else is making it? And... Once you have put it under the, I, I've kind of put it under the first top fabric and then started putting my pins just to hold it in place. 
it took me a bit of time doing this and at the uh, at the end there you can kind of fold it to prevent it from scratching you or from tearing your pra your fab fabric fabric <laughs> and bring to your sewing machine and sew the edges together closer to the pipe cleaner we're not looking for perfection we're just looking for a mask and you know as they say everything you become better at everything when you do it over and over again I haven't used my sewing machines for years so this gives me that opportunity of going back to what I love doing I'm self-taught so it's yay it's come out but it's, it's not perfect but it's a mask yeah it looks like a mask doesn't it yeah I'm happy with this I'm happy with this I'm happy with how it's come out it's not straight but this is meant to sit on the bridge of the nose and I've, as I've said I made just a few pleats around there where the protective meant, uh, uh, material is meant to go in is it woven or non-woven? Drop a line down below and and uh, correct me. You you are looking for something that is also breathable here. This is meant to sit on the bridge of your nose, as you know that people have different noses. So the other one we were stitching it inside and turning it out, but uh, for the second project. We're just going to pin everything together and we're going to sew it outside. So I have my top fabric. That is it's lying down at the moment but it needs to face up for us. To make those pleats. So fold along your fabric to create pleats. I have been making about four of these pleats and for the second mask I'm thinking of precision, accuracy, but hey, yeah, the first one, this is how it was before, so with everything pinned inside the elastic is inside here as you can see but with this one we're going to fold along the edges and our elastic is going to be attached on the edges in place but it's going to be outside Initially, uh, 
I was just checking if I can make plates on the lining. And this lining is not going to have an open uh, space or the overlapping ones. It's just going to be a plain one. So use your top fabric only to make your pleats. I found it easier to pin the pleats as I went along. It's a trial and error. It's my first time making a mask. So At this point, <laughs> I'm not looking for right or wrong way of doing it. I'm just looking for having a mask at the end of this video. Two different ones. One that has been sewn inside and turned over. And the one that you just attach and sew outside. I was just seeing how it will turn out now that I've decided what to do. Yes, I've decided that I'm going to just do the edges. I have pinned everything together, even the uh, pleats uh, at the center. Uh, my fabric is very, very light, so it was giving me problems. So I found that pinning them like this, it worked out better for me. Uh, yeah, you don't want the fa fabric that's heavy, but you don't really want a very, very light pro a problematic pr a fabric. Just choose something that is easy to work with here and take it from there. So this is how the first one is looking like. I really like it. I really like uh, how it covers the whole face it goes to the chin and the second one i'm about to stitch it stitch it all around and after that I remove the pins I haven't really trimmed anything here that's underneath. Uh, I've just turned it inside out and left it like that. It's giving it a bit of weight, so I'm happy with, <laughs> with that. And the 
elastic just make sure it stretches as you can see these ones are quite big so when you cut it consider how the kind of stretch that it has and uh, don't make it that too big and yeah I hope we'll have a better looking one in terms of straight lines, but hey, we're just making a mask, okay? Get a mask, get a mask. Yeah, that's all we want. If we can make more, I'm sure we will have much, much better looking ones. So this is how we sew the edges and you sew it down and go around the corners and this is the complete project. Yay, I'm happy, happy, happy with this. Yeah, why not try your hand at it and just, uh, yeah, to while away time while you're stuck at home. 